But six state lawmakers remembering the life and the legacy of late South Carolina state lawmaker John Scott. The South Carolina Senate Democratic Caucus confirmed the senator's death yesterday afternoon, saying Scott's dedication to the people of South Carolina spanned more than three decades. A cause of death has not yet been released, but we are getting details about how his life will be honored. Ashley Jones is live in our studio. Ashley, tell us more about how the community and especially his colleagues are remembering him tonight. Yes, Judy. Well, many of them called him more than just a colleague, but a friend. And while the search for someone to replace the senator must go on, they tell me there will always be a void. He was dedicated to his constituents and the people of this state. And he's such a vibrant voice for, for again, for people who have no voice. A few words to describe Senator John L. Scott. Uh, you don't serve in public office for 33 years without delivering to your constituents and being a force in the Senate, and John Scott was. Senator Nikki Setzler says Scott was a valued member of the Senate. Very interested and focused, laser focused on what I call living room issues. Mm -hmm. The issues that are important to people, education, health care, broadband access, uh, reaching everybody in this state regardless of where you lived. He says Scott was instrumental in the passing of the South Carolina Education Lottery back in 2002, which helped pay for college scholarships. The South Carolina State University grad also pushed for more funding for black colleges and universities in the state. But Setzler says he also knew the senator outside of House Chambers. He was a true gentleman. He was kind. He was compassionate. He was caring. He was dedicated. And I think we lose a voice in the Senate for those who don't have a voice. Senator Dick Harpootlian says he knew Scott since the two served on county council together back in 1988. I served with him on county council for the next two years before I ran and got elected solicitor. He continued to serve um, and ran and was elected to the House of Representatives. So I knew him from county council. I knew, I knew him from his endeavors in the House. And Scott also focused on issues surrounding health care and economic development. And most recently, he worked to expand high-speed Internet access in rural parts of the state. Harpootlian believes the era that Senator Scott grew up in fueled his passions for the issues he brought to the forefront. He understood what racism, blatant racism, looked like. I mean, I went to all-white public schools. That's how I grew up. He went to all-black public schools. That's how he grew up. Um, and integration came. I guess maybe while he was at the end of his public school uh, career, but uh, he had seen uh, segregation. And it's still unclear who will fin fill the senator's seat. When I asked senators about that today, I was told that they are focusing on honoring uh, Senator Scott's legacy and supporting his family. Judy. Funeral arrangements were announced earlier today. Visitation will be held Friday from 6 until 7 at Levy's Funeral Home. A memorial service will then be held Saturday at 11 a.m. at Bible Way Church of Atlas Road.